After the granite was hauled to the temple block, what then? Well, my father, the largest force of men engaged in building the temple were the stone cutters on the block. Most of the rough cut stones used in the foundation were squared right there on the ground where they had been dropped by the teamsters from the quarry. Some of the skilled craftsmen who turned and shaped the finer stones worked in temporary sheds on the temple block. Truman Angel was responsible for the coarse drawings used to direct the masons in the placement of the stones in the temple. By this time, the temple block had become the industrial heart of the valley. Blacksmiths were kept busy sharpening tools daily. Foundry workers, carpenters, machinists, and a variety of craftsmen were put to work as the temple block became a beehive of activity. Spirits were high as the saints labored with determination to obey God's will and build his holy house. Overwhelming, isn't it? Mm hmm The stars. I've never seen such brilliant stars in all my life. Yes, they do stir something in the soul, don't they? I've spent many hours pondering these heavens. I imagine everyone does so at some time. It's only natural. Yes, it is, isn't it? Do you remember the psalm, uh, the glory? Uh, oh, the heavens declare the glory of God. There is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. Yes, that's the one. I take it you're familiar with the scriptures. Oh, uh, I was raised in a good uh, Christian home, President. Is that right? Have you ever felt like you could just reach out there and lay hold of something? Like what, perhaps? Oh, I don't know. It's almost as if there were a part of me up there. You're not alone, Mr. Callahan. There was a time when man would climb to the highest peak of the highest mountain just to touch eternity as if to extend his reach to God himself. Like Abraham. Exactly. Abraham's faith was tested atop a mountain. Or Moses. Yes. Moses saw the almighty God face to face in the midst of Mount Sinai. And you remember it was there that God commanded Moses to build a sanctuary in his holy name, a tabernacle in the wilderness. Uh, the, where the Ark of the Covenant rested. Mm -hmm. The Lord chose to dwell among his people. And when they came to the promised land, God commanded that they build a permanent resting place for the ark. A temple? Yes. And once again, man has been commanded to build temples to our Lord, where we receive instruction, revelation, and ordinances from our Heavenly Father. And the chasm that stands between God and man is bridged, just as on the mountains of old. The mountains of the Lord? Yes. Brethren and sisters, we are fast approaching dire circumstances. The President of the United States, James Buchanan, having received false and ruinous reports of sedition and treason by this people, has ordered troops from the United States Army to march to our beloved territory to put down this supposed insurrection. They lie at our doorstep as I speak. It is for this cause that I have issued instructions for all able-bodied men to stand forth and aid in the burying of the temple footings and foundation, the caching of the stones therein, and the removal of all the public shops on Temple Block. Brethren, we must not allow this sacred, hallowed ground to be defiled or desecrated.
don't like the looks of this, General. Harward! Sir. Lieutenant. Take a couple of men and check out this compound. Smith! Roberts! Checks out, sir. It's just some farmer's field. Field? In the middle of the city? What do these Mormons think of next? I think they are ready to burn this city to the ground, should we so much as fire a shot. Now, let's move it, Colonel. I see nothing for us to do here. And a trip march! Satisfied that General Johnston and his army were to inflict no harm nor pose a threat any longer to the Saints, President Brigham Young soon thereafter announced that it was safe for all to return to their homes. Eventually, the time came to exhume the temple footings and buttresses and once again go forth with the construction of the temple. Brother Angel, I came as quickly as I could. It looks bad, President. I'm afraid we might find the same thing throughout the entire Foundation. How did this happen? We've not yet determined the cause, but on one thing we are all agreed. That this Foundation cannot support the weight of a granite temple. It's extremely dangerous. Truman, see to it that the workmen are dismissed from the block. All right, men. That's all for today. President? I shall not move from this spot until I know what I am to do.